Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. We've officially kicked off our 4th of July sale, so you can use that promo code BKM15. Save yourself 15% on, well, literally everything from pre-orders to vault items to Project Ukraine stuff. It's all on the table. Use that promo code through the 11th uh, and save yourself 15% on stuff online. And then in stores as well, it does apply to things that are no longer available online. So if you're near one of our retail locations, make sure to check that out. We do have some new stuff online too that we're going to take a look at here in a second. But remember, we're also going to do our announcements uh, for the winners of of the uh, movies and film mock contest. That'll be a separate video, so stay tuned for that a little bit later today. Otherwise, let's jump on in, take a little closer look at what's hit brickmania.com. All right, for this week's check-in segment, we've got the Korean War V2 minifig. So we're at Landon's desk because we got to hear a little bit more about what went into this long-awaited standalone. That's right. Where would you like to start, Dylan? Well, first things first, I do want to say that the uh, Perfect Caliber uh, M1 Garand does, does not come included. Uh, so you'll have to pick oh, that that's up. A, that's you'll a great to note to separately. start on. Though. But you have to, well, I wanted people to know right off the <laughs> no, bat, that's, you that's know, because cool. it does look super sharp when you get it. It is a sharp, up. yeah, it, it's, it's designed to go with that gun. Um, awesome combo right there, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, well, and if you know anything about the uh, the chosen reservoir, you would understand probably why this guy looks like absolutely yeah. miserable. Right. So, um, right off the bat, the first thing you might see is would be that that uh, hood representation on the minifigure head. I haven't done something like that before, so I'm trying out some new stuff with that. Um, I'll just take the helmet off right yeah, there. Yeah, go for it. And so he looks cold. He looks miserable. Uh, he's got the hood from this. This is a USMC specific parka. Mm -hmm. Looks really similar to the Navy version from that era, um, but it is specific to the USMC, and I, th I think it's a pretty iconic piece uh, if you know what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Another iconic thing would be that helmet cover with the EGA stamp right on the front of that. So beautiful job um, in printing with the uh, getting that camouflage to go around that helmet pretty much seamlessly. So I'm, al I'm always blown away with, with uh, what they can pull off in that print room. Um, and so I, this is, um, you might've seen this helmet before from our, um, I think our Navajo code talker had the same helmet, World War II. Similar to, okay. So they're still using those, those, uh, that, um, beach side of the, the camouflage covers back then, uh, in the curve back in the Korean war, um, with that upgraded little insignia on the front, which is, I think just looks sharp. Um, let's get rid of this gun. So he's got a little bandolier that wraps around, um, the side there. And extra ammunition, you know, as much as you can get a hold of. He's got a scarf that is uh, shown, um, kind of making that transition in between the torso and the the head there. So some another new, you know, it's my first stab at, stab at that. Mm -hmm. um, inside of that jacket, you can see it peeking there. That's like a, a pack of fur, I think, which is kind of funny. Almost like a flight jacket yeah. at that point. Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, yeah, this this. Uh, this winter parka goes all the way down to the the shins right there. It's a it's a it's a pretty long jacket compared to um, I think almost anything else that was issued. Uh, on the back, you got the um, the uh, poncho that's rolled up around there in the back in that frog skin camo, uh, a USMC specific canteen cover, um, kind of like a World War II era. And on the side, you got the um, the bayonet uh, with the scabbard there. The M1 Grand um, ammo pouches, and you got the E tool right there as well. All in all, this is kind of just an iconic uh, USMC loadout that uh, hopefully captured that era pretty well. Yeah, definitely an essential piece for uh, Korean War mock builders as well. That's something that uh, that hasn't been in our inventory for quite a while, so it's cool to see it returning in a standalone capacity. Available now on BrickMania.com. Lando, thanks for checking in, man. Thank you. All right, so slightly out of order this week, but now it is time to take a closer look at our new pre-orders. This is the F-84G Thunderjet, designed by Plain Bricks, Brendan, our project manager. As you can see, we're already working on some sticker prototyping here. It's gonna be a colorful aircraft, as you can tell by the, the stripes and stickers that we've already got working on this prototype here. I literally had to steal it off of Slam's desk. Sorry, Slam. Nice, sturdy build. Some cool angling on the wings there. As you can see, that's a that's a difficult shape to capture. Plain Bricks did a good job kind of layering that in there to make sure it, it, it comes to that point, kind of that almost Spitfire style wing design. Tricycle landing gear, yeah, which is never an easy thing to do to get it to balance properly. Although thankfully this one's a little bit lighter in the tail. So I think this one might've been a little bit more simple to get down. They do fold like they should, as you can see there. 
Click, nice into space. Armament going on there, as well as those epic drop tanks on the side. It's a it's a mostly gray model, but I like the colors. Uh, that red really, really pops on there. And then obviously, like I was saying earlier, the, the striping is super, super colorful. So that's really cool. For the size, it's still very swooshable. It's, uh, it's it, you know, it definitely operates like a fighter if you're not dropping the back half of the bomb off the bottom. Hold on. Anyways, nice sturdy model. Um, so the, the actual F-84 was originally, I think, in earlier in Korea, it was used as like a bomber ex escort for the B-29 Super Fortress, um, but then also ultimately became a close ground attack uh, support aircraft. So it was it was taking out bridges, troop uh, formations, all that kind of stuff, operating it at close range. Uh, so some interesting history there. Build itself, check out that canopy. That's a lot of bricks going into capturing that shape and get it right. There is a test ninja in there. So there, there will be a minifigure included with this. You can check out that render on the website. Otherwise, I'm not sure what else to say about the prototype version. Obviously, we'll have a little closer look at this thing when it is all said and done. Look at that wing construction, though. That is just impressive. Very, very well done and an excellent build. Now available as a pre-order on BrickMania.com. Deuce and a half. Up next, CCKW designed by Sergeant Nate. You can see we've already got some awesome printing rolling on the front here, but it is still a prototype because, uh, well, those are not the uh, the new 3D printed wheels that we've been testing and using. I think they got them on the front there. Let's tell by the inside. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like that's that one's ours. Then those back ones are still stock Lego for now, but we'll be updating that when it gets closer to the final project. Look how awesome that, that front end looks. Good job, Nate, way to capture that. This is a little bit larger version than the one that we previously did for World War II. Rolls well, nice and solid as it should be, because it's gonna be one of those kits that needs to, to take a little beating every once in a while if you're gonna go out and play with it. Looks like there's plenty of room for, for minifigures to fit and still keep that accurate cab shape. Check out those that printing detail on the windscreen there. That's really cool. I love those subtle little details that just kind of add that touch of realism. So, and then I like, I like that we didn't do too much, you know, canvas cover wise or anything with the back bed here because, well, it looks, it's going to look the coolest loaded up with minifigs in, in my opinion. Caution, left hand drive, no signals. <laughs> Maximum speed, 35 miles per hour. There you have it. Once again, this is still in prototype phase, uh, mainly due to those, to those 3D printed wheels there. Nice, sleek build, ready to transport your troops. So there you have it. Those are both of the pre-orders. Uh, along with the uh, Korean War Marine V2 and the new 13-star uh, fabric flag, all available now on BrickMania.com. All right, that'll do it for me on a Friday. Make sure to uh, use that code through the 11th, save yourself 15%. And then remember, we are going to do the official announcement of the Movies and Film Mock Contest winners coming up here in a little bit, so make sure to tune back in uh, for that video as well. Otherwise, I will see you back here on Monday. Thank you very much for watching.